the runaway princess, Haya bin Dal Hussein, had been married to the richest man in the Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed, for 15 years. But was there love and happiness? Perhaps it died with her first love. As a young woman, the princess was passionately in love with Basel al-Assad, the son of the Syrian president. Their stormy love affair was like a movie with a twisted plot. But they were not destined to be together. What happened to them? Why did their love story end? In this video, we tell the sad story of unfulfilled fate. Subscribe to the channel and give us your likes. Let's get started. We already told you about the incredible story of Princess Ha. In 2004, she turned 30 and married the ruler of Dubai, Mohammed Al Maktoum. His fortune is estimated at $18 billion and his power in the Emirate is almost unlimited. For the next 15 years, Hai was bathed in luxury and glittered at aristocratic receptions and seemed happy. However, family life ended grimly. Raised in the European tradition, Hai was burdened by her role as the younger wife and her subordinate position. Despite their two children, the woman fled from her husband to London. In Britain, she filed for divorce and, as a result of the trial, she sued the Sheikh for $730 million. But her family is already rich enough. Even without her husband's millions, the princess and her children could live in luxury until the end of life. But the years lived cannot return, and do not change the fate that could have turned out differently. Hai's friends say her one true love was Basel al-Assad. He died in a car crash near Damascus airport in 1994. The man was only 31 at the time, and Hai was 20, and they were madly in love. If it were not for the senseless death, in the life of the princess would not have appeared the old Sheikh Mohammed with his insane billions in power, but there would have been happiness and true love. The unfulfilled story of Haya and Basel's love affair is worthy to tell about it in detail. In the early 1990s, Jan Haya and Basel seemed made for each other. Both had a passion for horse riding, a similar worldview, and a high background. Haya was the daughter of the late King Hussein of Jordan. Basel was the eldest son of Syrian President Hafez Assad. There were four sons in the Assad family, but it was Basel al-Assad who was purposely groomed to lead the country. Even as a child, his father recognized his leadership qualities and chose him as his successor. In his youth, Basel served in the Syrian Special Forces. Here he acquired a firm spirit, integrity and a peculiar sense of humor. His approach to life is well illustrated by a case recalled by Basel's friends. As a colonel and the son of a ruler known to all Syria, he came to visit a military unit. The guard refused to let him in because he did not recognize him. In the East, it's a terrible insult not to recognize a member of the ruling family. The soldier was taken to an unknown destination, and his comrades in arms bid him a mental farewell. They were very surprised when the sentry returned to the unit. He was completely bald, but had a new star on his shoulder straps. It turned out that Basel al-Assad had ordered the soldier to be punished for disrespect by shaving his head. At the same time, the soldier was rewarded for his vigilance with a promotion. This episode shows that by the age of 30, Basel had become a good politician and understood how life works. He was a cheerful, honest and decent man. In addition to Arabic, he spoke several other languages. As the future leader of Syria, he supervised many important projects. In particular, Basel al-Assad managed to deal with a long-standing problem – the smuggling of cars from Lebanon to Syria. One day he simply ordered tanks to crush luxury cars that Syrian officials were trying to smuggle into the country by passing customs. The smuggling channel was shut down for years. Of course, the local elite didn't like it. Haya was just like Basel. She received an excellent education at Oxford, learned several languages and became a professional athlete. In 2000, a sensation happened at the opening ceremony of the Olympics in Sydney. For the first time in the history of the Muslim world, the flag of the Muslim country of Jordan was carried by a woman. It was, of course, Haya bin al Hussein. She was the number one of the Jordanian equestrian team and the best athlete in the country. 
an oriental princess who breaks stereotypes, and a brave special forces man, the future ruler of Syria. They couldn't help but pay attention to each other. Their stormy romance began in 1992, when the princess turned 18. It was like a movie with a dashingly twisted plot. There were enough meetings, breakups and intrigues of detractors in the relationships of young people. Unfortunately, Haya's father, the Jordanian King Hussein bin Talal, was one of them. He sincerely believed that Basel al-Assad was not a match for his daughter because of his low origin. The fact is that the Hashemite dynasty to which the Husseins belong is unusually noble. It goes back to the very founder of Islam, the Prophet Muhammad. According to the perception of Oriental monarchs, this elevated to an unattainable height. The Assad family is also aristocratic, but it's not a monarchy. Formally, the next president of Syria is elected by the people. Because of this, King Hussein disapproved of the relationship between his daughter and Basel. But all his persuasions were powerless against true love. It went to the wedding, despite the prohibition of the parent of the willful princess. It is possible that King Hussein decided to take extreme measures. On January 21, 1994, Basel al-Assad was driving his Mercedes to Damascus airport. There was fog on the highway, but the man drove confidently. He had previously been involved in car racing, so Basel was used to driving in difficult conditions. However, his car collided with a guardrail at full speed on a traffic circle. Basel died instantly. The experts never found a coherent explanation for the horrible accident. Even if they found the damage of brake system by intruders, it was decided not to make a scandal. There were rumors that the local elite might have been involved in Basel's death. They were dissatisfied with his radical actions in the fight against corruption. No one dared to name the person who might have ordered Basel's death. But the car crash really could have been an accident. Be that as it may, no just another man died on a highway near Damascus. He was a beautiful but unfulfilled love. For ten years after that, Princess Haya bin al-Hussein had almost no relationship with men. Her friends said that all these years only Basel al-Assad lived in her heart. The dream of the prince's father King Hussein to become related to a real aristocrat did come true in 2004. Princess Haya married Sheikh Mohammed, who was almost two decades older than she was. She bore two children for him. But finally things ended badly. An escape from Pampas, Dubai to London, a scandal and a divorce. But could it be otherwise, when a marriage of convenience is concluded? And when a dead love lives on in the heart, in reality it will never die. What do you think of this sad love story? Do you remember your first love? Share in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, like it and see you later.